<clears throat> all right let's go ahead and discuss this so it's like oh my god thousands of hits yesterday talking about lavar ball versus christine leah and the jason whitlock thing um i saw the turn of events yesterday it went from lavar ball being in people's eyesight a lot of people's eyesight arrogant always talking about his son you know, always this and that. You know, we tired of seeing him. Why is he on ESPN? Why is he on Fox Sports? Why is he on these places? We tired of hearing LeVar Ball. And there was a shift yesterday. And the shift came when he was on The Herd. Um, and he was being interviewed by Colin and... It's supposed to be Christine. And I uploaded a video yesterday showing previous things where Christine and Jason, that black guy, Jason Whitlock, just did nothing but just talk smack to LeVar Ball and his family, and apparently, nobody gave the people that heard the memo that LeVar watched everything, and he was well prepared when he got up there. And as Christine was trying to talk to him, he wouldn't give her the time of the day and told her to stay in her lane. And I saw the shift yesterday. And the shift was, and I understand the shift now. At first I looked, I was like, man, everybody's on LeVar's side, but I understand the shift now. I didn't get it at first. And everybody uh, was like, I was on Twitter and everywhere else, and they were just bashing Christine and Jason Whitlock. And I'm reading the comments like, and I'm reading, I said, man, okay, I get it now. Um, you know, they talk about the feminists are gonna come after LeVar Ball. and But it wasn't just the feminists there was another side. I noticed a lot of black people that weren't riding with LeVar Ball before is riding with him now. And I was like, well, what made all these black people change? You know, as they like to say on the internet, they call it uh, black Twitter. What made black Twitter all of a sudden change? Was it a black and white thing? Then I said, well, no, to a certain degree it wasn't. Because he also went off on Jason Whitlock, which is a black guy for Fox Sports. And, um, and I said, well, yes, it is some black, white, and then yeah, no, it isn't. And I'm going to tell you why. As my title says, why why does a hood love LeVar Ball and hate Christine and Uncle Tom Whitlock, Jason Whitlock? And I, I was able to piece it all together. You know why the hood loves him and hates that white lady? The hood loves him because no matter how hard these young boys are, and how much they cut up selling drugs, shooting, whatever in the streets, a majority of them do not have a father figure. A majority of them don't have a dad in their life. Raised by single black moms. And you got to commend the black moms for doing the best they can. Uh, but you definitely need a, a strong black father, not just a black father, a strong black father in your life to help shape and nurture you and keep you off the streets and keep you on the uh, straight and narrow. And what the hood sees, you have this crab mentality. Let's just get out of the way. Black people love to pull black people down. Black people don't want to see other black people succeed until another white person is involved. And when LeVar was selling his sneakers for 95 and he was talking smack about his son's the best there is and how he can beat LeBron and Steph, other black people were like, man, get out of here with all that junk, this and that. LeVar, they start hating on LeVar. You know, and that's just a black culture. But when the white lady attacked him, they like, whoa, 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 you don't mess with our people. We hated LeVar Ball yesterday. But we gonna love him today. We might we'll pull the var ball down, but a white woman better not try to pull the var ball down. And that's what happened. And and these young black men that don't have a father, they say, hey, yeah, he's arrogant. Lavar's talking this junk and this and that. We didn't like it at first, but he's a father figure and he's proud of his son. And the boys in the hood wish they had a father that could go on TV brag about them, brag about their son, take care of his family, take care of his wife. And you got to realize LeVar Ball isn't racist because he's married to a white lady and got three light-skinned kids. Heck, he's light-skinned himself. I mean, but he's still black. 
Um, so there's something white mixed in there. So no, he's not a racist. No, he's not a feminist. He just saw a lady that was attacking him and his sons. And he said, listen, I'm, I'm a black father that's here in these kids' lives. Yeah, I'm proud of my sons. I raised them. I'm speaking these things into existence. And and he's what's called a strong black father. What she don't understand, she probably had a passive black uh, white father. Do whatever you want, Christine. It's okay. You know, we're going to have a silver spoon fed to you. You can get whatever you want. We got money. LeVar and them and other strong black fathers don't have that opportunity. We know there's not equal opportunity out here between blacks and whites. That's just a proven fact. So she's like, oh, uh, LeVar, when he says something to kids, listen, you darn right. That's a problem with a lot of you today. When when the authority and your father and your mom speak, you're supposed to listen. Apparently, you were raised in a household that you could talk back to your dad. You can call him by his first name. What, Bob? No, no, no. That doesn't happen in black families. For you to talk about, oh, he's controlling, no, he's being a strong black father. That's the bottom line and what it is. You and your passive father and your parents, you can probably talk back to them. You can probably cuss in front of your uh, your mom and dad. All that stuff don't go on in black families. Not a strong black father. And I'm not going to say all black families because some, some are, are babies having babies. And they don't understand. They let the kids do what they want. But strong black fathers, they ain't going to allow that in the house. And it seems like, you know, Christine, you needed a, a strong father figure. One that wasn't so passive and allow you to have all the freedom of speech you want in your household. There ain't no such thing as freedom of speech in a black family's household. Anyway, get back to the point. And the reason why, so the hood loves him because they see a father figure that brags on his son, loves his son, and encourages him, and he's there for them. So that's why the hood loves him. Why the hood <clears throat> doesn't like Christine and also now Jason Whitlock, they see this black guy siding with the white girl because they both work at the same company. Don't worry, white girl Christine, I got you. I got you. I ain't going to let big black LeVar Ball back you down. Wait till I have my show. I'm going to blast him. And you see the clip. You call his son a robot and he does a snap. Listen. The hood hates him because they consider him an Uncle Tom. They want to know how can you, as a black man, look at another black man that's raising his three sons, taking care of his wife. She's in a hospital because she suffered a stroke, doing the best he can. And yeah, he has some arrogance about him. Um, <clears throat> but sometimes his arrogance is confused for confidence in his sons and his son's abilities. They're looking at Jason like, how are you, another black man, Gonna see this other black man, which we don't have many role models like that. Gonna take the side of this white lady and ride with her. And that's how you get the phrase they call him a Uncle Tom. <clears throat> and he did throw a shot at him and said, The only thing Jason can talk to me about is some snacks because Jason's a little overweight. Um, but that's the real story. That's the reason why the hood loves LeVar Ball and they hate. Uh, Christine, Leah, and Jason Whitlock. Um, Y'all leave your thoughts, comments below. Am I on point? Am I off? I want to know your thoughts and opinions. And um, give me your perspective. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think.